So in this video, we have a non-uniform rod, AB, of weight 40 newtons and length 3 meters, is suspended in equilibrium from two light cables attached at P and Q as shown. When a weight of 24 newtons is hung from A, the rod just remains in equilibrium. Find the distance of the centre of mass from P. Okay? So, let's draw a diagram so we can visualise what's going on here. So here's our rod. There's A and B. Now, we're going to hang a weight of 24 newtons from A. So, 24 newtons. And the, uh, the rod just remains in equilibrium. So if that's the case, then everything is going to be pulled through P and the rope or the string um, at Q is going to go slack. So we can ignore the tension at Q. So here is P and there is going to be some tension at P there. And we know that that is 0.6 metres. But we don't know where the centre of mass of the rod is. So let's just place it somewhere. So I'm going to place it here. OK. So this is the centre of mass of the rod. Uh, we don't know where it is because it's non-uniform, of course. We know that its weight is 40 newtons. And we are interested in the distance of the centre of mass from P. So we're interested in this distance here. So let's call this X, so X metres. OK? And so that is my diagram. Because uh, we're imagining that it's just going to be on the point of tilting, as I said, the tension at Q can be ignored. So this is what the problem is reduced to. So... If I take moments from P, that allows me to ignore the tension at P because it's zero distance away. So from P, we are 0.6 metres uh, to the 24 newtons, so 0.6 times 24, and that's going to give me an anti-clockwise motion, OK, because it's trying to push its way down and twist around that way, that turning effect. So that's positive. And then we're x metres away from the 40 newton force. So x times 40. And that's going to try and push it around this way. So a clockwise motion, so that's negative. And it's going to be equal to zero because we're in equilibrium. So rearranging this, we're going to get 40x is equal to 0.6 times 24. OK, so 0.6 times 24 divided by 40 is 9 over 25, so 0.36. So the distance is 0.36 metres. OK, so that's our first bit. Now for the second part, the weight at A is removed Find the maximum weight that could be hung from B for the rod to remain in equilibrium. So let's edit our diagram. Let's get rid of the maths bit first. So the weight A is removed, so that's gone. We're now going to hang a weight from B. Now we don't know what that weight is, we need to work it out. So let's call that V Newtons. OK. Now, if it's going to be, we're trying to work out how large that weight can be, then we're going to be on the point of tilting, but this time about Q. So there's going to be a tension in Q. But the consequence of that is that the tension in P is going to go to zero because we're tilting about Q. And we've just worked out that distance there. 
So that was 0.36 metres. OK, now, before I go any further, I'm not too keen uh, on knowing that distance there. Let's add a little bit more to our diagram here. So this is 1.2 metres, before we do any of the maths. That's 1.2 metres there. And we know... So if I can work out that distance there, that's 3 metres, because the whole thing's 3 metres, isn't it? Take away 1.2, take away 0 0.36, take away 0 0.6, and that gives me 0 0.84 metres. Not a particularly accurate diagram, but there you go. 0 0.84 metres is that bit there. So I don't really need to know that length anymore there or there. Okay, so my diagram reduces down to this. Now, if I want to work out V, if I take moments at Q, then I could ignore the tension at Q. So we are 0 0.84 metres from the 40 Newton force. And that's trying to push it around this way in an anti-clockwise motion, so that's positive. And then we're 1.2 metres away from the V Newtons, so 1.2 times V. And that's trying to push it around in a clockwise motion, so that's negative. And it's equal to zero because we're going to be in equilibrium. So we have 1.2 V is 0.84 times 40. So 0.84 times 40, divide by the 1.2, and we get 28. So the maximum weight that can be hung from B is 28 newtons.